The groom, Mr. Theo, is a formal employee of Big Iron Construction. <laughs> Your husband is a construction? Do you understand the kind of situation you just put yourself in? Trouble Busters! Cheers! Yes. Oh man, I can't believe you're actually getting married! Yeah. Who's the lucky guy? We're like co-workers, kinda. Huh, you met him through work or something? Yeah, something like that. So when's the wedding- Ugh, I'm so hungry! Stop being so impatient, Adam! Also, don't be so loud because they're gonna assume we don't belong here! Ugh, I'm tired! Wow, there goes the construction workers with a collective IQ of six. Sophia, you need to stop that kind of trash talk. We all, you know, have connections. Oh, this is the worst. This is why I don't like eating with Sophia. My name is Miranda. I have a friend that has a very bad prejudice against construction workers named Sophia and also work management in construction. I've warned her time and time again to stop, but she won't stop at all. I can't say anything about the animals that live in different worlds than me. Chicks are cute. Crows are scary. Hamsters are cute. Rats are dirty. And just like that, I'll never think anything of construction workers at all. <laughs> so yeah, she's told me that she's never going to change how she sees them. She continued to talk bad about construction workers every chance she got. I reached a conclusion after that. I can't invite her to the wedding. Next month, I was going to be marrying my lovely boyfriend, Theo. I didn't want Sophia there because she would be raining on my parade. It just wasn't smart. I can't believe that Sophia's life is worth the same as theirs. You think so too, right, Miranda? No, I don't. I got into a big fight after this, one that I don't have enough time to explain. Yeah, she's not getting invited. What? What is Sophia doing here? Oh, hey, Miranda. What's good? Why? I didn't send you an invitation. Come on, Miranda, you gotta invite your super miracle amazing best friend. How could you forget to send me an invitation? <laughs> what? She's literally the last person in the world I would want to come to my wedding. Apparently, she saw the news on her social media and just let herself in. I tried to stop her time and time again at the reception. Ugh, why can't I go in? Why? I can't let anyone in who doesn't have an invitation. That's the rules. I got my clothing done up and everything. Uh, but still... I went to the beauty salon and had my hair done and nails, too. If you're saying I can't go inside, you better be ready to pay for all of that and then some. Uh, but that's too much. What's going on? Oh, hello, sir. Huh? Sir? Well, this is what's going on. Uh, I see. Mr. Allen let in Sophia after hearing that Miss Sophia was your friend. Oh, that stupid little good-for-nothing. I see. Okay, sure. I can't chase her out now. I'll just leave it alone then. Thank you. We will proceed now. That's how the wedding continued to proceed. I was worried about Sophia's behavior, but luckily she was very focused on talking to Mr. Allen. She wasn't being loud. I was hoping everything would just stop with no problems. But... Let's move on to the groom's profile. Come on, let's see who you scored. The groom works as a tech for Big Iron Construction. <laughs> what? What? What did you just say? Big Iron Construction? And a tech? Your husband is in construction. <laughs> oh. Huh? Hmm? What? Oh? I thought it was weird that you got married before I did. <laughs> now I totally get it. Construction. <laughs> Your husband is the lowest of lows. <laughs> Wow, you really gotta get anxious, huh? Compromise much? <laughs> Your husband looks the part, too. The whole room kind of stinks, too. I see. This is the den of construction workers. <laughs> oh my god, my stomach hurts. I'm sure if you took me out of the equation, the room's combined IQ is about 30 on a good day. Is this really Earth? Is this Planet of the Apes? <laughs> Which means this Allen guy is the CEO. <laughs> yes, is that a problem? <laughs> I shouldn't have kissed your ass at all. Even if you're a CEO, you're the lord of dirt. <laughs> you're like a Beezlebub. Beezlebub is really strong though. Let's just ignore the demonology stuff for a second. You mock my lovely Theo, and you mock his friends and co-workers. You're going to be punished for that, and I'm never going to forgive you. Trouble busters. Can you listen to me after you're done cackling? <laughs> what, loser wife? You're gonna make me laugh even more. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you this for a long time, but you really misunderstand construction workers. M misunderstand? 
What are you going to say something like, they're actually great people or something? Yeah, that's not going to make you any money. <laughs> if those construction workers weren't around, we wouldn't have a job either. You understand that too. Huh? Your current state, your position, do you really understand what's going on? Huh? You work housing sales. Yeah, elite sales. I don't really care about that, but house... How do you build a house? These morons do it. That's all they can do. That's all they can do. Do you know how to build a house? You just build it really quick. You just, just build, build it, it real really quick. quick. Do you have any idea how much talent, skill, and know-how goes into building a house? I mean, you already know the kind of house that you're building, so it's simple. It's just an entrance, rooms, the bath, the bathroom, the balcony. You just add the parts and combine them together. It's, it's not, not a model. model. Of course it's not that simple. Hey, lady. What's the company you work for? Technical Star House. Seriously? Seriously? They're one of our clients! I didn't realize that the housemaker that we worked with was this insufferable, rude human. Sir, I do not want to build anything that comes out of this insolent chimp's mouth. Me neither. And me as well. I don't want to build a house for some idiot that doesn't know how hard we work to build it. So we all agree. We're only going to turn away orders from Miss Sophia from now on. I'm Miles, the CEO of Tailwind Construction. We're also going to refuse any orders from Miss Sophia. I'm Samuel, the CEO of Sugar Pine Construction. We will follow suit. This is incredibly wrong. Red Rose Construction, I'm the CEO, Rose. I'm never going to accept any of your contracts. You should go study up on how orders and construction work together. Uh-huh. What's going on? What's going on? A boycott is what's going on. You might be an excellent sales rep, but if you don't respect the people who do the actual building, you're not going to be able to work at all. Miranda! You don't have to yell. I can hear you fine. What? Why didn't you tell me this would happen beforehand? You're the one that showed up abruptly. We were only going to invite all of our construction friends to celebrate today. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You don't even have an invitation and you showed up, idiot. You're the uninvited guest. The fact that you didn't realize the whole room tense up when you said anyone could do what a construction worker does is pretty bad, too. You can't tell people how they feel. How do you work sales again? Hey, what's gonna happen to me? What do you mean? It's as clear as day, isn't it? The orders you receive from customers and clients will never be completed, which means you cannot make houses for customers. You were just deemed unsalvageable by the construction specialty's CEO. You know what happens next, right? Of course! There's no point in any kind of sales rep when they can't sell. This is what happens when you only think about yourself. But, 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 that's not good. Hey, Miranda, please convince the CEOs. Figure something out for me. Even if I wanted to, I can't. Why? You were being too rude. Because these things... Phrasing. The hardworking construction employees worked so hard and I didn't know about it. You can tell if you just think about it, idiot. You must have thought that it was like a game of Sims, huh? You just click and build. It's not that simple. What? Don't, Don't act surprised. surprised! I can't believe what the world has come to when things like her are selling houses. You really aren't fit to do your job. That's not true. That is true. I... I did think that houses were just built. That's my ignorance. But I didn't know, so you can't blame me. I think we can. I'm only 25 years old. I've only been out of college for a year. You should let me get away with it for now. You should forgive me. I'm not like construction workers where anyone can... What did you say? Uh... Anyone can do our job, right? It's so simple. Calm down. I meant that anyone can become what you are. I can't relax about that. I'm just pissed. Then will you forgive my ignorance? No, I want you to understand something. People aren't mad because you're ignorant. They're mad because behind your ignorance is all of the rude comments. Oh, about how you're all low lives? It, it took, took you this, this long. long. You need to go back to college. No, grade school. They should literally teach you common sense. Oh, wait, hang on not fair with everyone coming at me because no one can sympathize with you it's your fault yes it's my fault that i was ignorant stop yelling at me is that how you manage the grunts don't, don't say, say grunts. grunts i don't think you should yell at the invaluable construction workers like that either we should change our image for example for example you know how people are yelling around at construction sites that's i'm not thinking this this is just a thought but if you don't yell so much maybe you wouldn't be thought of as stupid like you can only get people to understand by yelling. No, you realize that if you're standing on top of the third story building, it's tough to hear someone who's on the first floor. Hey, three steel pipes. Huh? I can't hear you. 
why we all yell. We're always carrying heavy stuff, so we have to yell to confirm everyone's safety. And you realize we're mocking someone a second ago. You really only see yourself, huh? You've got the lowest IQ here. And about fashion, why do you workers always wear torn up uniforms that look like they've been worn for days? It's gross. I think that leads to misunderstandings too. You have to put forth an effort so that people like me don't misunderstand you. you like shut you're your one mouth, to talk idiot. about it, moron. Houses don't get built overnight either. It takes several months. You seriously lack creativity. You literally work side by side with construction workers and you know nothing. It's not even that you don't know anything. It's that you don't think about anything. Ugh. I, I know I make more money than this prick and he's not even the CEO. He's acting all tough. So what Sophia, is that show look? your face. Oh. Miranda, she's screwed. She doesn't regret what she's done at all. It's not true. That's not true. Thank you for simplifying everything for me. You actually managed to explain things in a simple manner, even as an orderly. What? Are you actually mocking me still? No, I'm complimenting you. You don't need to say anything about being orderly or anything, though. I just wanted to accentuate the strength of your compliment. That's what someone who looks down on construction workers would say. All right, sorry. I'm sorry I was wrong. Exactly. Thinking back now, Miranda did most of the explaining. I complimented the wrong person. You, you really haven't figured it out? Ah. You can't even really think back on your actions. The wedding couldn't proceed at all because of you. We were supposed to continue with the wedding with no hiccups. Your ignorance and rudeness has ruined it all. Sorry, sorry. What? Huh? No way. You're kidding. Huh? I'm sorry, I was just hungry. You little shit! How can you get hungry in a situation like this? Even we're not eating and we're the angry ones. What? Huh? Why? Why don't you just eat? You, you screwed, screwed up, up so much, much that, that no one is, is even interested, interested in eating. eating. And you were the first one to reach for the food now. Is it good? Is the ham that you're eating in this room really good? Uh, shut up! You're all so naggy and whiny, blah blah blah. You're the one that was spewing nonsense. You still don't understand that you've been incredibly selfish? Shut up, you guys don't have any education, so you have to yell. You always have to wear dirty clothes. No one wants to be a construction worker from the get-go. What? I don't know if you build houses or whatever, but no one admires your work. I take it all back. I'm totally over it. I'm done. Me too. Same. Ah, oh, whatever, I'm done. I don't need to be here anymore. Ah, rip. Ah. She ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Where, are Where are you, you going to run? run? So yeah, she ran out of the venue and the wedding proceeded. She really did manage to put a damper in the mood, but Mr. Allen, feeling responsible for letting her in in the first place, ended up doing his best to try to lift the mood. It turned out to be an okay wedding. It was like everyone was working together to try to defeat a common enemy and we had succeeded. However, after the wedding finished and we started dating, life continued. So the same with Sophia too. Word spread of her twisted mentality and she was removed from Technical Star House. The massive speech she gave at the wedding was known as the reverse gospel and everyone in the industry knew about her. Miranda, you have to help me. You finally calmed down from your rage, huh? I'm really sorry and regret everything. How could I have done such a thing? I've been unemployed since the wedding and haven't eaten anything for three days. You should go home and explain your situation. No, my parents would cut ties with me after they hear what I did. I'm sorry, Sophia, I'm hanging up now. Huh? You ruined the most important day of my life. You think our friendship lives on? Huh? No, not huh. I'm the one that's the most angry right now. By the way, you haven't even apologized to me once from start to finish. Oh, so sorry. You're way too late now. You can apologize, but you can't rewind time. Uh, then what do I do? I don't know. Do whatever you want. No, Miranda, please don't be so mean. I'm annoyed talking to you, so I'm hanging up. Wait! Wait, hang on. Hold on. Listen to what I have to say. Miranda! It was the worst wedding, sure, but our relationships with the other companies has deepened ever since. No matter what the bad event was, you still have to find the silver lining. Trouble Busters.